Happy Earth Day, everyone, and thanks for joining us here in Ludlow at Randall's Farm and Greenhouse, where you could say every day is Earth Day, but again, especially today. Joining me now is Karen Randall. We're going to talk about ways to help out Mother Earth, aren't we? Yes, we are, Chris. You know, we celebrate since 1970. Uh, Earth Day has been on April 22nd. It was the birth of the environmental movement and we continue to observe it and celebrate it today. And rightly so. And there are a lot of small things we can do today and throughout the year. There are. You know, you want to keep in mind that there's a lot of R's. Uh, reduce waste, reuse products, recycle, and then replenish and restore. So Bravo, by the way, that you remembered all that. Well, you know, it, it's, it's an important message. It and is. I think the R's give us a, a way to remember it helps a little our mission it? what we're supposed to do so you know a lot of us i'm i'm very guilty of uh bottled water yeah okay. a lot of us do use it but we don't have to use one of those disposable bottles we can use something like this over and over again we can and you know coffee mugs versus coffee cups um it's uh, compost this know? is not a new salad at this the deli is this no, is compost compost your food waste uh it's called gardener's gold, you know, it doesn't look like it today, but right. when that rots up for about a many months or a year, it's great to spread in the garden and uh, feed your plants. Really amends the soil. It does, it does. And you want to, when you compost, you want to have no animal products. You want to have your grass clippings. I your, see a banana peel. Exactly. Your, your food rate. Even waste, ground coffee. Coffee grounds, yes. They I must say, contribute. this is one of the better looking compost piles I think I've ever <laughs> seen. Don't, don't dig in, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Still needs to ferment for a little while. What about these cow well, pots? This is really, um, this is the epitome of recycle. <laughs> you know, uh, we have the recycled material from the cow, cow manure, and it's compressed into a pot and you can plant your plants in it, put it in the ground, decomposes right in the ground, and feed your plant. Just don't confuse your cow pot with your cow mug ever. <laughs> That'd be right. a horrible mistake. Finally, it's something you believe strongly in here is reusable bags, not the plastic kind, but the ones you can bring over and over again when you shop. Well, you know, I you acquire a lot of plastic bags at home. We've all been reading about the detriments of plastic bags in the environment, yeah. going all over animals, and. Uh, it's a hazard to animals. Uh, bringing your own bag, you know, re a recyclable, reusable bags are very popular today. Um, so those are the components of Earth Day. And then replenish and restore brings us to our next holiday this week, which is Arbor Day, which is always on the last Friday in ah. April. And it celebrates the role of trees in our lives, and it's been since 1872. So trees not only give us shade, you know, sometimes you think they're in your way, there's too many leaves in your yard. Well, they're giving you oxygen. Right. They're cleaning toxins out of the air. They're giving you food if they're fruit trees. Shade in the summer, shade in the shelter summer. in the winter. Shelter for birds, keep your house cool. Uh, they're, they're, we really take trees for granted. So. And all the wonderful produce we get from trees, apples and peaches and pears and nuts. So, you know, uh, Arbor Day is a great time to plant a tree or shrub. It's the perfect time of year. The ground is cool. The weather's cool. It's uh, the middle of spring, pretty much. It's it's a great time. So these are two days that you know they aren't holidays per se, but they're observances that are very important to our lives. Well, we'll make sure get outside and enjoy Mother Earth. Karen, thank you. Thank you.